Hi, I'm Rachel, um, and today I would like to share with you the number one thing that I hear from women that they need when they are leaving an abusive relationship. Um, so I've been working on a project where I'm creating a training for allies, um, and people who want to help women escaping domestic abuse. And as part of that project, I have interviewed many, many women um, who are on the other side of it now. And of course, I know a lot of women just in my personal life and clients of our nonprofit and all of that. But for this particular project, I've been asking very specific interview questions of women who are on the other side of that now. And most of them are at least a few years are out and are doing well and are healing well. And so here's the thing. When I ask them who supported you and what was most helpful? What what was the support that you found most meaningful? Without fail, the number one answer I get is some version of they listened to me. They didn't think I was crazy. They believed me. Do we need things like diapers, grocery help, rent help, child care. Yeah, absolutely. Of course we do. Because we need those things. We need to feed our children. We need to have a place to live. Of course, absolutely. We need those things. But when I'm asking woman after woman after woman, what was the, what was the most helpful, most supportive thing that anybody did for you? when you were in that process of ending your relationship and navigating your new life on your own. Without fail, the number one thing that people say is they listened. So if you know someone in that situation, certainly offer help if you can help them figure out um, resources. But just listen. Just listen. That doesn't mean talk and tell them about your own experiences. It doesn't mean try to jump in and fix everything. There may be a time for some of those types of things later on, but just listen. Just let her tell her story, believe her, and encourage her to keep going.